soon deal, he soon deal with the enemies. And uh, he was yet his disciple. Mm -hmm. He does say to show that Judas was very bad because he thought it was the fulfillment of the prophecy. It's fulfillment of prophecy. One of those disciples was bound to be him. Right? Now, some people say, well, okay, well, why is it that Judas, like, does that mean that Judas was born to be that person? No. Judas decided it through his, his actions. And one day, it says, as the, um, I think it says, I think it's even in Luke. Hold on just a second. No, he doesn't name it. Um... Go to Luke 22. Luke 22. Luke 22, verse 1. Thank you. It says, Now the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, being, one, um, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and continued with the chief priests and captains, how he might betray him unto them. Okay. So here's the thing. He decided he was one of the apostles, but he was doing things that were ungodly. He was doing things that were not right. He was stealing from the money changer. Like he he had he was the the one the accountant, the one who kept the money. But he was taking, huh? He was a treasurer. He was keeping he was taking from the treasury. Right? And then Satan entered him. Okay? So Satan entered him. He wasn't Satan wasn't in him before. But yet Satan knew exactly who to choose. And he chose him. Why? Because he has already been corrupting himself. And you notice how he was corrupting himself? He was taking what was Jesus's, what was Jesus, all of his money, and what was the disciples' money, and taking it for himself. Ooh. That's big for today's church because many pastors, elders, apostles, whatever it is, they're taking what is the church's and they're taking a little bit for themselves and they're not supposed to be, right? And doing those evil deeds will lead to Satan coming in you. And you notice what Judas did. It says in verse four, it says he went his way. Jesus said to follow him. But because Jesus entered him, all of a sudden he decided to go his way. And what he did is he separated himself from Jesus and went to the religious. Right? Because the religious have something worldly to offer. But yet Jesus only had something spiritual to offer. That was it. And But when Satan started to enter in to Judas, it caused him to go away from Jesus and go to the religious for profitable gain. There's so many people who go away from the doctrine of Jesus and go to the religious for profitable gain. There's so many people. I've seen it so many times. How it's like they, uh, like in my church, I told you my pastor stopped taking offerings. I mean, he, ta he, he puts a box in the back and he says, if you have it in the heart to give, go there and give it. Right? We believe in tithe and offering. We believe that that's something that you should do. Um, it's not a salvation issue. It's just something that you should do. And so he puts a box in the back. If you have tithes, offerings, whatever it is, go put it back there. Right? But when we come into church, we're not going to spend it talking about money or passing around a bucket and shake it in front of your face so this way you can give. Because you know what happens if I take a bucket and I put it in your face? What are you going to do? You're probably going to like, oh, okay, what do I got? 
I, what do you got? Okay, um, I, I, I got this. Okay, here. Because you don't want to be that one guy that says, no. Right? You don't want to. Did I ever tell you about the phantom giver? All right. I, I love this one. Um, I, was, I was in a church, and I was praying. Um, and I was praying, and I'm, I'm looking. I'm not really looking at the, the, the basket, but I'm just kind of looking in that direction, and I'm just praying and everything. And then I saw this guy. He gets up. All right. He goes over there, and he puts his hand in the basket. But when he opened up his hand, nothing came out. Yeah. Nothing came out. And then he kind of does this little look around. He kind of, <laughs> right? And then goes to sit back down. You see, he wanted that appearance of giving something. Right? That's no good. That's, that's not good. That's not what we should do. And even if he did have something to give, if it wasn't in his heart to give it to the Lord, not to the church, to the Lord, then he should have given it. If not, sit down. Right? You don't want any of that money that people don't have it in their heart to give. You don't want that money. You don't. I don't care if it's a million dollars. You don't want that money. What you want is the money that the, the, the two shillings that an old lady comes and gives to you because all she has and she wants to give it to the Lord, that money you want. That money is the money that God wants, right? Because it's not about the money. It's about the giving. It's about the heart, right? Um, just like the woman with the two mites, she gave in her um, poverty and the other ones just gave in their abundance, right? So we don't do that at our church. We say the box is in the back, drop it off. But, when he did that, he had many elders and deacons at the church, right? Many people who had hopes for this church that one day it was going to be a big church, a big church, and everybody was going to profit off of it, right? If it's a big church, the elders and deacons get a lot of money, right? They make good living being an elder and a deacon. And so Pastor Tim said, no, we're not doing that. Put it in the box. Within about a month, they all left the church. The elders and deacons, they left the church. They separated themselves from a, God, a move of Jesus, from a move of God, because they wanted to go to the religious. Why? Because of money. Because Satan entered them, and it caused them to go away from Jesus, and it caused them to go to the religious, not the Christians. Okay? Okay? We see it all the time, all the time. So, say, um, and so at that moment, because of his heart was already going away from Jesus, that's where Satan entered in. So if you or anybody you know, if they have their heart not right, and it's already bit by bit going away from Jesus, something will happen. Satan will enter into that and start to move upon them. All right? So we have to be cautious. Are we going away from Jesus? Are we going away from his world, word, away from his presence? Because if so, we can become a Judas and we could betray the body of Christ. Because it says, Jesus says that, um, that, even, uh, that, that they will deliver you up into synagogues to persecute you. That means that the religious are going to persecute you. There's not one person that's going to come against you more than a religious person if you are living right. If you are staying close with Jesus, there's not one person who is going to persecute you more than the religious. So we have to be careful. Stay close and stand firm. Because the religious are the ones who seek religion and not seeking Jesus. Those are the ones who are going to deliver you. And those are the ones who are going to come against the body of Christ. Okay? So he, he became the fulfillment that he was counted among them. Right? Okay. So does that answer your question? Okay. All right.